driving can have deadly consequences. So the Foxville investigators tested a new device that claims to help you track how much alcohol is in your blood. But does it really work and could it help keep you safe on the road? Take a look. In every state, 0.08 is the legal limit of alcohol allowed in your body when driving. But Washington County Sheriff's Deputy Scott Haley says in Oregon, there's more to it than just the number. What the actual law states is that it's impairment by any drug that impairs you um, to the point that you're not able to operate a vehicle safely. Now technology to test that impairment fits in the palm of your hand. The Backtrack is one of several breathalyzers available from websites like Amazon.com for under $100. But deputies say testing your blood alcohol content, or BAC, can be tricky, even with the proper tools. Even if it was a very accurate machine and you could test accurately, it's hard to tell whether your BAC is going to go up. With that in mind, the Fox 12 investigators teamed up with the Washington County Sheriff's Office to test its accuracy against the breathalyzer used by police agencies throughout the state. Blowing in the machine. Several times a year, the Sheriff's Office holds what it calls a wet lab. It's a chance for deputies to get some very realistic training with people who have actually been drinking in a controlled and safe environment. Tony Krieger was one of our test subjects. He says he and his friends have tried a personal breathalyzer before, but after the official machine tallied a .06, he was shocked at the backtrack's initial results. See that, boys? .02. No way. <laughs> Valerie Fancher was also surprised by her first reading. It was .00. I apparently had not drank anything all night long. And obviously that's not true. It took another six tries before she blew a .05. The official machine recorded a .06. Shelly Searle's results went in the opposite direction. We just did the Amazon one three times and each time I got more sober. Backtrack says the device helps estimate blood alcohol content and should not be used as a tool to determine whether you should get behind the wheel. Our test subjects agree. Right now, there's no way in hell I'd get behind a car. I do not think that I am capable of driving a vehicle right now. Therefore, I don't try, quite trust this Amazon one. Deputy Haley says the best thing to do is find another way home if you've had anything to drink. I'd hate to see somebody rely on that and think they're okay at an 07, drive home and end up hurting somebody or themselves. It's just not worth it. Well, we contacted the makers of Backtrack for a response. They say that to get the most accurate results, they encourage everyone to read the complete instruction manual and quick start guide before using it. They also say the breathalyzer promotes alcohol awareness. Very interesting. All right, 548 is the time. You need to read all the directions before you use it. Yeah. And maybe before you have that before first drink. Before you have the yeah. first drink and before <laughs> yeah. you have Oh, where do I breathe? I don't know. Uh, Stay away from me. <laughs> Let's go right now to the temperature. Uh, we're we're rest. Stick with Andy. <laughs>